6.5 solving polynomial equations by factoring. It's ma.912.ar.3.8. So we're going to use the zero factor property to solve equations. We're going to solve quadratic equations by factoring. And we're going to solve higher degree polynomial equations by factoring. So our first problem is example two. It says solve x squared minus x minus six equal to zero. So again, we have three terms. So we're gonna find numbers and multiply to get a negative six and add the negative one. So six could be six and one, three and two. Now one has to be positive and one has to be negative. So I know off the bat that I will have a plus minus situation happening. Now, in order to get negative one, the three had to be negative. So I'm gonna write x plus two, x minus three. Three times two is negative six. Two and negative three had to be negative one. Then you're basically taking, saying x plus two equals zero, x minus three equals zero and solving. So x equals negative two, x equals three. So our answers are negative two comma three. On example three, it says 2x squared plus 5x equals 12. Well, first thing we do, we need to set it equal to zero. So I need to subtract 12 back. So now we see 2x squared plus 5x minus 12 equals zero. The leading coefficient is not one. So we're gonna use Columbian method from, that we learned in a previous lesson. It states, you're gonna do two parentheses, set equal to zero. You're gonna put that first digit with the variable in the first position of both. Then we're gonna do the first number times the third number. So two times negative 12 is negative 24. And we need to add to that middle number five. So 24 could be 12 and two, six and four, three and eight. We want to find negative 24 and positive 5. So to get to 5, 12 and 2 gets us to 14 or 10. 6 and 4 can get you to 10 or 2. 3 and 8 can get to 11 or 5. So I know off the bat I'm those two, but I need to be a positive and a negative number. So I know I'm a plus and a minus. In order to get positive 5, the 8 had to be positive and the 3 had to be negative. Then you're going to set each piece equal to zero. 2x plus 8 equal to zero. 2x minus 3 equal to zero. So 2x equals negative 8. Divide by 2. x equals negative 4. Add 3. 2x equals 3. Divide by 2. x equals 3 halves. So our solutions are negative 4, comma, three halves. Example four says x squared minus two x plus 16 equals six x. So again, we need to be set equal to zero. So I'm subtracting six x back. So we get x squared minus eight x plus 16 equal to zero. So on this one, we have two, three terms. Numbers that multiply to 16 that adds a negative 8. Well, we have 8 and 2, 4 and 4. 4 and 4 can get us to 8. So we have x minus 4, x minus 4 equal to 0. Notice that we have the same repetitive parentheses. So you only have to solve one of them. So x minus 4 equal to 0, x equals 4. So this is called a double root, you would only see the four once. On example five, it says three X cubed equals 15 X squared plus 18 X. Since the highest degree is on the left, we're going to move everything to the left. You're going to subtract 15 X squared and 18 X to the left side. So now we see 3x cubed minus 15x squared minus 18x 
equals zero. Now I need to pull out a GCF because notice three, 15 and 18 are factors of three and they all have an X in common. So we're gonna factor out three X out of every piece. So we have three X on the outside. Then we get X squared minus five X minus six equals zero. So now we're gonna factor the parentheses piece. So it has to multiply to negative six and add to negative five. Well, we have six and one, three and two. But remember, one has to be positive, one has to be negative. In order to get five, you can only be six and one. So three X comes down. We have to have a positive and a negative. In order to get negative five, the six had to be the negative, the one had to be the positive, and you split your X's. But now notice that we have three pieces because that three X by itself can be also set equal to zero. So you set everything, three X equal to zero, X plus one equal to zero, X minus six equal to zero. Well, three times zero is gonna give you zero, so we know X equals zero is one answer. Subtract one over, so X equals negative one. Add six over, so X equals six. So our solutions are gonna be negative one comma zero comma six. We have three answers because our highest degree was three. Example six says X to the fourth plus X cubed minus four X squared minus four X equal to zero. First thing I notice is a power of four. Since it's a power of four, it means we have four answers. So the de highest degree is the number of answer choices you should have. Then I notice that they all have an X in common. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out an X out of every single piece. So X comes out and you have X cubed plus X squared minus four X minus four set equal to zero. So now we see four terms and earlier on we learned about um, four terms, which is called grouping. So we're gonna group the first two terms and the second two terms. So in this instance, X slides down. These share X squared in common and the second group shares four in common. So we see X squared parentheses minus sign four parentheses bracket equal to zero. So we're taking out the GCF out of each binomial. So X cubed took out X squared, we have an X. X squared took out X squared, we become positive one. Now we're not dividing by four, we're dividing by negative four. So negative four X divided by negative four leaves us with X. Negative four divided by negative four becomes a positive one. And in grouping, I said earlier that if the bubbles are the same, this is your first parentheses, and then you have your leftover. So we still have X. Now we have X plus one, and now we see X squared minus four. Set equal to zero. Okay, well now here, we see X squared minus four, which is difference of squares. This breaks down. So X plus one comes down, X comes down. But here X squared minus four becomes a plus minus situation. It's the square root of four. So I have X plus two, X minus two. So now since everything is factored out, we set everything equal to zero. So X equal to zero, X plus one equal to zero, X plus two equal to zero, X minus two equal to zero, and then solve. So we're still x equal to zero. We move the one, positive one over by negative, subtracting it becomes x equal to negative one. Subtract the two over, so x equals negative two. Add the two over, so you become x equals positive two. So your solution is go least to greatest, negative two, comma, negative one, comma, zero, comma, two.